Want to learn how to play with your baby or toddler and increase their learning potential at the same time? Then you are at the right channel at Interim Academy. Welcome to Interim Academy where we like to play with the brain and mind. Today we're going to be doing an art project that is not messy. In fact, they're painting, yet it will not make any messes at all. It is through productive and pleasurable play activities that young children build wide and firm foundations for later academic achievement. You need a paintbrush, water, and Asian calligraphy paper. Something I want to point out is I really like not a big thick brush because it covers it really too quickly. So I like a little small brush. This is obviously one of my old painting brushes, uh, which works just nicely. But uh, something that they can actually make the shapes that they want to out of it. When I'm feeling drained of ways to play with my kids, this is my go-to because it is so easy and the worst thing I have to clean up is spilled water. I also like the paintings they create because they always look so sophisticated. The paper dries quickly so they can use it over and over. There are several cognitive benefits as well, such as fine motor skills. Grasping a small object and trying to make marks with it requires a lot of practice and work. It is also a lot of fun. Children enjoy a challenge, and the more they are exposed to opportunities to use different mediums to write with, the more aware they are of what they are creating, and the more they develop control over their strokes, which leads to experimentation. When your child is busy making random marks, they are doing a lot more work than meets the eye. The chance to use a paintbrush and to create on their own is the beginning of learning how to write. Model different shapes and the ways to write, like making circles or lines or going up and down. Whatever you do, make sure you allow your child to direct themselves, which will help build their confidence. You do it. Vocabulary. Something I like to do during a painting project with my kids is to create a story to inspire them to try different strokes. They love a story I made up about a busy bee, which I will try to relate to you. Here's our bee. Once there was a busy bee, and he loved to fly in a meadow and land on flower after flower. At this point, I show the kids how to swirl and spin around the page like a bee flying and how to draw a simple flower. When he would land on the flowers, the bee loved to dance in the pollen. At this point, I have them try to paint little footprints on the page. Then I restart and say, And when he got home to his house, you know what he did with the pollen? Yeah! He made some honey. After the busy bee danced in the pollen, he flew all the way back to his house and made some honey and got a full belly. At this point, I can encourage them to draw circles to show the hive, the bee's tummy, or whatever they want. Thanks again for joining us. Please check out our website at interimacademy.com for more information and subscribe to our channel.